Guys, how are you? It's my duty. I'm nakakapagod na. <laughs> I think I have to have a nap. Hi guys! How are you to find out? Welcome to the weekly episode of Dome Pops! Okay, so in this episode, we will talk about the famous pre-med courses here in the Philippines. So actually, um, I have researched some of the details of each courses from friends, from resident doctors, and also students in the universities. So, today, I will tell advantages, disadvantages, experiences, pros and cons about each of the courses. So, let's go! Well, before we start, I have listed here approximately 8 to 9 top famous pre-med courses. First, let's discuss BS Psychology. Well, it is a four-year course as well, and it has a lot of advantages because it discusses uh, a lot of sciences from biology, chemistry, and also social sciences, which is very important because they focus more on developmental theories, and which is approximately their edge if you want to take a national medical admission test or NMAT. And also, this course has a lot of avenues. You can be a teacher, you can be a lawyer, you can be a doctor, or you can be a licensed psychometrician. What is good about this course is that they have behavioral sciences, so meaning then they have uh, advantage in terms of doctor-patient relationship establishment. Uh, usually non college, uh, they are very outgoing, they are very happy, they are very loud, very jolly, happy happy lang. And of course, uh, siguro hindi totoo yung sinasabi ng ilan na parang yung psychology is manghuhula <laughs> ng isip. So, it's a fallacy, guys. One disadvantage is that they don't have hospital backgrounds. But some of my friends told me that they have uh, clinical exposures in home care. So, they have... Uh, a patient as well that they took good care of so their clinical internship mostly focused on um, industrial and community internship so this course is really flexible okay next pre-med course is BS medical technology uh, for me they have big advantages especially if um, from subjects, first year to third year. One evidence is that um, yung valedictorian and salatatorian namin were both med techs. <laughs> uh, subjects like parasitology, microbiology, pathology, uh, biochemistry, serology, hematology, lahat yan guys inaral nila nung college. So also, if you could search in some forums or buzz, uh, if you were type uh, the best pre-med course in the country, mostly suggested course nila is BS Medical Technology. Why? Because most of the subjects that they took in college was well patterned in med school. So yan ang pinaka advantage nila. And also, um, they are good guys in uh, clinical diagnosis and clinical correlation as well as diagnostic through laboratories. So that's their main edge. And also, they have uh, good clinical exposures, uh, they have rotations in the hospital, so they probably have a knowledge of how the hospital works. Whenever you don't have to pursue a medicine in the future, so they have a good fallback, so you can be a researcher, you can be a teacher as well, or you can be a medical uh, technologies abroad or here in the country. However, uh, some of my friends told me that this is not a good uh, course, especially if you aim to have a high NMAT score, because according to them, you need to review you know, your social sciences and other related courses as well. And uh, one Waterloo is that um, they don't have uh, exposure to in the operating room and also community and preventive uh, medical exposures. So, dun sila nagkakatalo. But in some aspect, uh, medtech is a good choice. Next course is the BS Pharmacy. When you reach second year, uh, pharmacy is one of the hardest subjects in medicine. And if you are a, a BS Pharmacy, so you have an edge. 
However, the way they taught it in college was way different in the way they taught it in med school. For example, a particular subject uh, was taught in college uh, a whole semester. However, in med school, it will run only for almost a week. So you gotta memorize about the pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, uh, side effects and adverse reactions. Good about these courses, they have a lot of uh, chemistry courses. So they have a gist about the treatment and management as well. So they have idea. One thing good also is they have clinical exposures as well in the hospital. So they have uh, prior knowledge in prescription writing. They have prior knowledge to dangerous drug acts. And they are good in computing doses and uh, calculations. So guys, yung pharmacy, hindi lang, pala, hindi lang tagabenta ng gamot, ha? Okay? <laughs> and they have also fallback jobs if you don't have to pursue medicine later on. So they can be uh, a teacher, they can be a researcher, or you can be a quality assurance officer as well, or a quality control officer. You can work in industrial companies, in uh, community hospitals, or you can work also in telepharmacy. However, one disadvantage of this course is that anatomy and physiology is not well detailed, according to some, and they don't have community exposures. Most graduates would tell that um, this course is advantage, especially if you're going to check the NMAP. Treatment course is a BS uh, physical therapy. Talk about this course, so one thing that comes into your mind. So anatomy is their major, major advantage. So if you want to be an orthopedic surgeon or a rehab doctor, so BS physical therapy is really the best choice for you. PT also has uh, main unique features because they have kinesiology, which is uh, the highest form of anatomy. They discuss it in college uh, more in details. And also, they are more familiar usually with bones, with muscles, with the blood supplies, uh, innervations, and many more. Because in first years, uh, you have a practicals in anatomy. Uh, so, sisi yung lang yan sa mga physical therapist. And also, when you reach third year, you have rehab medicine, so it's gonna be a review topic on their part. I think the disadvantage about this course is that uh, it is a five year course. Other than that, so napakaganda naman talaga ng physical therapy. So, you can be a doctor, you can be a teacher, a researcher as well, or you can venture any other fields of endeavor. Okay. Next pre-med course is BS Biology. So, uh, for me, I think if you wanna aim a high, high, high end math score, so BS the Biology is the place to be. One thing because is they don't have a board exam, so some of my friends would told me that yung NMAT yung kanilang board exam, so ginagalingan talaga nila sa si NMAT. <laughs> also, they are good in basic subjects in physiology and anatomy as well, and uh, they have a uh, good background in med related subjects. One good thing about this course is that they don't uh, only study human life, but also they study the life of animals and the life of plants. So, lahat ng uri ng buhay yata, uh, inaaral nila. And also, uh, what I like about this is they have more laboratories. They dissect cats, they dissect dogs, they dissect frogs, and they dissect all types of plants. So, uh, they need to memorize, I think, uh, a lot of species. <laughs> I think for me, one of the disadvantage about BS Biology is they don't have uh, hospital exposures or they don't have community exposure. So I think when it comes to patient-doctor relationship, parang medyo dehado tayo. Other than that, okay naman yung BS Bio. Marami silang fallback then in, in case that they don't pursue medical school. So you can be a researcher, you can be a teacher, or you can work in quality control or quality assurance, or you can work in the certain laboratories naman. Next course is the BS uh, Chemistry. So it is somewhat similar to BS Biology. However, we have higher counts in mathematical subjects because they put more emphasis on chemistry and usually physics. In contrast to BS Biology, BS Chemistry have board exam. So they can be a licensed chemist later on. So one great advantage is that uh, they have more laboratory works. So, more likely they are good in experiments. So, when you're second year or first year medical student, 
that's one of your main advantage. Next pre-med course is BS Radiologic Technology. I think it is also a good pre-med course because uh, they have more emphasis on the diagnostic and therapeutic side. Uh, they value more on the radiation side, so they're exposed most likely on imaging in machines, in CT scan, ultrasound, PET scan, MRIs, and nuclear imaging. So that is their main advantage. Also, this course focuses on physics, physiology, and pathology. Aside from that, they have also hospital exposure, so most likely they know how to run the hospital setting. If you want to become a doctor in a short span of time, so this intermed, no, this intermed is for you. So you have uh, two years undergrad course, then four year straight to medical course. So you can be a doctor from six to seven years. Call it usually in UP as in Parmed, or in La Salle, I think uh, they call it human sciences. One disadvantage about this course is that it's prone to burnout, so have your subjects here compressed. Don't have a fallback just in case you quit in the middle of the internment. However, if you want to pursue and your goal is to become a doctor later on, uh, kayang kaya mo ang internment. As long as you are determined and you have a strong will and determination, then uh, internment is for you. Last, pre-med course guys. So, of course, my course in college, yung papahuli ba naman. So, BS Nursing. So, for me, uh, BS Nursing, uh, maganda siyang pre-med course kasi it is a generalized course. For me, kasi it is a jack of all trades because uh, you have exposure in different types of clinicals. So, you have exposure to hospitals, you have exposure to community setting as well. The advantage is that you have a good uh, patient-doctor relationship because from first year to fourth year of your college life, so you're exposed to clinical duty na. So, meron ka ng idea of how the hospital works. You have also a clear picture of how the hospital runs. Uh, lahat ng mga procedures from catheter insertion, IV insertion, NGT insertion, um, and also you have an exposure uh, in the operating room and a delivery room which is a great advantage. And one more thing is that um, lahat ng mga equipments sa hospital, uh, kung tatawagin ka ng doktor o ng residente mo o yung konsultan, so you, alam na alam mo na kung ano kukunin. One disadvantage is that uh, nursing course is napaka-hectic ng subjects, hectic ng schedule guys. So, uh, uh, napaka-hectic ng schedule kasi if, in your, if you are in your third year and fourth year, so you have a long uh, duty time in the hospital. So, however, one good thing about it is that you know how to balance your time. So, time management is very important. Um, also, another disadvantage is that for me, it is not a good pre-med course for if you want to aim a high score in Enma. Ano pang i-review lahat ng mga... Uh, social sciences or sciences in high school but other than that for me uh, nursing is a good pre-med course so guys that's it uh, it's a quick review about uh, the pre-med courses in the Philippines so if you're gonna ask me among the nine of them what is the bed pre-med course my answer is tan -tan -tan, wala <laughs> Kasi pagpasok mo sa med school, lahat naman kayo walang alam. <laughs> so lahat kayo back to zero guys. Equal footing kayong lahat sa med school. Don't worry. Okay? Lahat ng courses naman sa college, lahat naman mahirap. Wala naman siguro madaling kurso sa kolehiyo. So what matters most is that uh, if you pursue med school, you have the passion, you have the drive, and you love what you do. If you want to become a good doctor, it really boils down at the end of the game uh, to work ethics, uh, time management, and also perseverance and determination. So above all, uh, good manners, good conduct, and right attitude. Hopefully, uh, just know your strengths and your weaknesses, and also you need to hang out with your friends, guys, uh, and also your families because med school is very draining. Uh, it can cost you a, a lot of mental breakdowns. 
But if you have a good uh, support from your families, from your friends, from your loved ones, then I'm pretty sure you can survive med school. So that is all guys. I hope to learn something today. If you like this video, kindly give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and, and share it to your friends and your loved ones. Once again, I am your Dr. Domeng saying you God bless, good day, and I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.